Hey, what's up everyone? It's Franchise923, and in this video I wanted to show you how you can use Google Earth Pro to visualize your Strava runs. Um, so this is a run that I did a few hours ago, um, and I recorded it with Strava. And if you actually go to Strava's website, you're able to export the GPS file. It's actually called a GPX file, but um, you're able to export that and then just bring it into Google Earth Pro and make something that looks like this. And I think this is pretty, uh, pretty neat. So I just wanted to show you guys how um, how you can do that. So first, let me give a shout out to this YouTube channel. This uh, I used this video to actually um, figure out how to do it. So this is a video using how to do it with like GoPro videos. Um, but this I'm going to focus on how we can do it with Strava. Um, so if you head over to your Strava page and just go to the particular activity you're interested in. And if you go to this little breadcrumb, you can export the GPX. So you'll notice now we have a GPX file downloaded. So now we can open up Google Earth Pro. So Google Earth Pro, that's the actual desktop application. It's not Google Maps. It's not in the browser. You actually download this. Uh, it's totally free. Um, but you just download Google Earth Pro. And then we need to bring in that GPX file. So if you go to Tools, GPS, import from file and then just browse to wherever that file was so that's the one that I just downloaded so you'll open that and you'll see it loads it and there is the event and that looks pretty good so what I what we need to do is first just rewind everything to the beginning so make sure it's all the way back to how it was in the beginning and just open up this tracks here and click on your actual event and you'll see this pop-up box gets here and I think if we just remove the name it's gonna go away um, and next you click on the actual name here and this little icon here starts a tour it's called a tour so we have to create a tour and save the tour and then use that tour to export a movie, if that makes sense. So you'll notice the tour is running. So we need to actually let this run all the way through. So I'm actually going to start it. Um, I want to start it from how I actually want to record it. So just let it play. And I'm going to hit pause right when it starts. Okay. So now I'm going to rewind it a little bit more. Ah, this is a little finicky. Basically, I don't want to record all of this. I just want to record it starting from like right here. So I'm going to pause it. And now we actually need to record this tour. It's a little confusing because we need to record a tour and then export the, the tour as a movie. So now we need to right click and say add tour. And you see we get this little recording icon. So we're going to hit play and let the whole event play. And then we're going to hit record uh, right after we hit play. So it records it. Um, but first, let's talk about the speed that it's playing at. So I'm going to actually X out of that. So you'll notice it's going faster than normal. And that is a preference that you can set if you go to preferences and touring um, speed. So if you want it to be real time, like how long it actually took you to run, you would set that to one and hit apply. And now if we start it, you should notice that it's going to go much slower. And this, you know, this was like a two mile run that took me like 20 minutes. Um, so oh, that actually looks pretty fast. Maybe I have to X out of that. Double check it saved. Why? All right, let's try it. I think you might need to relaunch the tour like this. Looks slower already. Yeah, there we go. So that is the snail pace that I was running at today. Um, but obviously, you know, no one's going to want to sit through this entire 20 minute video. So it makes more sense to speed it up. So I'm going to. X out of that, go back to preferences, and let's put it, I think six is a good number. So 
hit apply and I like the higher fidelity all the way up and you can actually mess around with the at the angle of like the camera how it's uh, tilted and how how far zoomed out you are but I'm just gonna leave it default for now and let's launch our tour again and get it to a point where you want to start recording it so right here is pretty good now hit add tour hit play and then hit record and then we're gonna let it play through the entire run And then once it finishes, we're going to stop the recording, save the tour, and then we're going to export it as a movie. So I'll just pause the video here and pick it back up once this run uh, completes. All right, so it's about to finish. So get ready to hit end the recording. And now save this tour. So you got to make sure you save this and just call it um, Strava Run and save that. So now you see we have this tour that pops up here. And we're going to be able to uh, also make sure you close this. Now we're going to be able to use that tour in Movie Maker here. See, it says uh, use a saved tour. So we're just going to use the Strava Run, which we just made, and then just export it. So export that and I'm going to use h.264 um, m4v you can actually change the extension to mp4 once it finishes it's pretty much the same thing and then just hit create movie so this could take uh, this takes like five minutes now it depends how long your video is and the quality but you know this is about the speed it's going to take so I'll just pause it again All right, so the movie export is about to finish. And then once it finishes, we'll just open it up and make sure it worked. All right, cool, so it looks like it finished. And if we go find that file, that's what I just made, the Strava Run 6X Speed 2 MP4 or M M4V. Um, and for some reason, I need to use VLC to open this. Not sure why I haven't really investigated it much, but there you go. It seems to, to look uh, how I want it to look. All right, thanks for watching.